Welcome to this video tutorial about the Dollybar ERP and CRM system. In this video, we will look at how to use the Product and Services module in Dollybar. Prerequisites Activate the module Product from Menu Home, Setup, Modules. You also need to activate the module Services. You can also activate the module variant if you need to define variants like color and size for products like shirts. Grant permission on the products and services modules for your users. For more advanced information on how to set up permissions to users, you can watch our video Users, Groups and Permissions. Creating a product or service. Products are material goods that you stock and sell to your customers or buy from your suppliers. Services are offerings provided to customers that can be realized without stocking or shipment. Let's create a product. Provide a reference number and label for the product. Choose whether the product is for sale or purchase. Specify if you will be using lot of serial numbers. If you use barcodes, then choose a barcode type and enter the barcode. Provide a description. Choose a default warehouse where the product is usually stocked. Specify a stock limit if you want to be notified when the stock limit is reached. Specify the desired quantity you want to get when doing automatic replenishment. Input other aspects of your product, such as weight and dimensions, in the case of products. Set pricing and tax details. Finally, choose the appropriate accounting codes and click on Create to add the product. Similarly, you can create a service from the appropriate menu. A service differs from a product such that it cannot be stocked or shipped. Also, attributes specific to products such as weight, dimensions and commodity code are not available for services. Products and Services Module Features Use the Clone button to create a similar product or service without having to re-enter all the information. Use the tab Selling Prices if the product is on sale or Buying Prices if the product is on purchase. For Selling Price, you can set up the application to have one selling price one selling price per segment of customers or one selling price for each customer. For buying price, you can define different prices for each supplier too. If the module variant is enabled, you can define variants like color and size for products like shirts. You can also define a relative price or weight impact for the variant when compared to the price and weight of the main product. Statistics gives a bird's eye view of how the product or service is performing by tracking the proposals, sales orders, purchase orders, invoices and contracts. You can create tags in order to group products or services, such as quality, limited edition, etc. Clicking on a tag will show all the products or services associated with it. Warehouses are locations where products are received at or stocked and shipped from. Stock movements and mass stock transfer can also be tracked and recorded. Replenishment 
is a list of all products having stock that is lower than the desired stock. Choose a product by ticking the checkbox in order to create a purchase order to fill the difference. The complete process for creating purchase orders is presented in the respective video about purchase orders. You can also add and track shipments and deliveries for the products. There are also plenty of other features that can be enabled from the setup, like if you need to manage virtual products or kits. Also, like most other Dollybar modules, you can add your own custom fields to describe your product, define default values or mandatory fields, and you can use the import or export modules to import or export your product database. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Visit www.dollybar.org to learn more.